All right, welcome to Smokey's UK Rap Files. I'm your boy, Journalist, and on this one, we are going to be checking out, we'll say, some due diligence research is what this song is going to be. Uh, that boy Wiley was talking about he fucking gets gashed by the hour. Somebody informed me. Sorry, I can't remember the name. The homie from the comment section specifically informed me that uh, Gash by the Hour was a popular song back in the day. I've never heard of it. Never heard of old boy before, so I figured I'd check it out. I can't even tell you the name of the artist currently. Who is this? Gash by the It Hour. Who's getting gashed by the hour? Let's hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, it's not even going to tell me Blood's name, Blood? Come on. Who's this gash by the... Da, 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 da. Boya and Sass Killer. Okay, okay. Shout out to Sass. That nigga dissed uh, Chip. I remember covering that boy. So shout out to Sass and uh, Boya. Uh, this is Gash by the Hour. I would like to know what the fuck this is. And God damn it, Gash by the Hour, boy? <sighs> Them boys is up. But yeah, let's get into this one. If you could, please hit that like and subscribe and let's go. <laughs> Videosonroad.com Y'all can't blame me for quality, boy. Okay. Striver. Yeah. Shout out to Striver. What? Just too many gas. Too many gas. I want to catch for the lash. I don't know who man is. I think that's Boya because I've seen Sass before. I don't think that's Sass. Uh, so, Boya, that's cool. The hook is hilarious. I was like for the time period, this shit is probably fire. Obviously, we all can agree this shit has not aged well. The mix is shite. It's a terrible mix. At the time, though, niggas was like this shit ringing off. But this shit sounded like it was fucking mixed on a Motorola. The only thing that has survived is the kick is still beefy and just, ugh. It's still a good kick all these years later. Am I the only person when I watch these older videos? Not just when I do these, but like just in general. I watch these older videos and I'm like, yo, how many people are dead? And then I'm just like, yo, all these women, they're probably somebody's mom at this point. <laughs> and I always just find that shit funny. Like, they could have been somebody's mom at this time now, but like at this point, like you're somebody's proper Marge at this point. Like, properly. Like, and it's just, I find it so funny. I'm like, oh yeah. Like, everybody gets to be a kid at one point, but I'm just like, damn, these people are going to be people's Marge's. Yeah, you're not. Then I said, you should still. She said, I don't normally do this, but do you want to come back to mine and chill? Then I said, yeah, why not? And she said, make yourself at home. Then precisely open, I will let her run, walk in, around to the sound of the door. And I draw cash by the
Boy, your second verse, especially because I understand how hard it is to get a female to rhyme in pocket with the rhymes you've written for her to be the responses to the the lyrics that you already have set up. So I got to give respect because the way they pattern that part of the song is really fucking proper and still like stands up even though this is all these years later. Sass, what are you about to do, my boy? And I drove cash by the minute. Oh, gas by the hour, get gas by the minute. That's that fucking okay. So Wiley was flipping both of these. Okay, so it's a song flip and a sass flip. Nah, blood. Nah, blood. Nah, blood. Nah, blood. You niggas is sharing shirts for a video shoot. Ah, what are we doing? Be honest. Boy, you should have did this song by yourself. Sass, you was shit on this song, bro. Shit. The shit you did against Chip, bars. If I had never heard you rap before, I would think you was ass cheeks. Like pure dookie butter. However, since I've heard you actually rap, I know you're nice. You just, again, producers, engineers, rapper friends, and everybody in the studio just be like, oh, that's cool. And then we have this a song that barely survived the test of time. And then a verse that just for sure don't survive the test of time. Like, Sass, you can't tell me you think that verse is still hard. Like, you'd be a fucking liar if you're, oh, that, that shit's hard. No, it's not. You're a goddamn liar. This hook is harder than everybody's fucking voice. Awa! Okay, okay. We just dressed the same. All right. I take back everything I said about you niggas sharing shirts. You guys just got the same outfit. Respect. Respect. I'm okay with that. But I thought man was sharing shirts just so we have the same visual look as the next man in the video. I'm like, that's that's perfectly fine. Don't get me wrong. Niggas don't got budget. You do that. Don't let me fucking stop you or my shit talking. I was just like, yo, that's just wild. Guess what? Oh, whoa. So, whoa. Guess what? I work. Guess what? A minute. That's about an hour, that's about a minute, took his burger, turned the chicken up. Damn. How much y'all pay Shorty to get her hair wet for just a shot? Don't tell me the bird did this for free, blood. Hey, the brown skin mommy. Like, the quality is terrible, but look like she's still laying. However, she looking at Shorty like, you did that shit? <laughs> That's for the hour, that's for the minute, that's for the minute, that's for the hour. Flirty D, boy, yeah. Too bad, little did he know. An entire genre and generation of artists were going to mumble and not give two fucks about your reloads. Not growing up on these sounds, so like when I hear classic, like quintessential, like. 90s American hip hop records, like, and they sound shittily mixed and all that. Like, they just sound, I guess, like, that's how they're supposed to sound. Versus, like, when I hear that same stuff from, like, 
shit I didn't grow up on. I'm like, how the fuck did this make it out the studio? So maybe other people feel that way when they hear like older American records and it's just a, like a, a listening bias that's been kind of like built in because like I either studied those records or like those are the records that just were out at the time and that's the mix we have. So because like why I hear this, especially Flirted D shit just sounds crazy. Shout out to Flirted, but this shit sound crazy. You can't bring wool to my back. You can't bring it to left or right side. Cause I'm making a zip of you like pick my right. You can't bring wool to my front. Yeah. You can't bring wool to my back. You yeah. can't bring it to left or right side. Cause I'm making a zip of you like pick my right. Gosh, by the hour. At the time of when this came out, it's probably a hard 8, 8.5. Currently, it's slid down to a 6. Overall, it's just a cool record. Like, if you still want to hear it in today's time, like, it's kind of one of them nostalgia vibes. But it's just not going to be my thing. But that gas by the hour, that shit is still hilarious to me to this day. It'll forever be funny now. That I know exactly what we were discussing. Gas by the hour, gas by the minute. All right. But yeah, that'd be it for me on this one. Shout out to Boya, Sass, shit, Flirta, uh, all the Marges. Well, the ladies that are now Marges in the video. And yeah, that'd be it for me. I'll see you guys on the next one. I'm out of here. Oh, yeah, hit that like and subscribe, please. We are trying to grow the channel over here, make it a supremely full-time ting. So please help our brother out. Thank you. See you guys on the next one.